Buckingham Palace has confirmed that King Charles and Queen Camilla will conduct the royal families. Easter Sunday worship service later this week. It is the first large event the king will attend since his cancer diagnosis was publicized at the beginning of February, and it indicates that his physicians feel he is well enough to interact with more people despite his ongoing treatment. As is customary, the Easter Matins service will be held at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. However, this year's service will be slightly different, with fewer members of the royal family in attendance. This is to restrict the amount of individuals the king interacts with, the Prince and Princess of Wales, as well as their families, will miss the traditional royal gathering to focus on Kate's recovery from cancer. Last year, the couple's youngest child, Prince Lowy, five, debuted at the exclusive family event, with his brothers Prince George, ten, and Princess Charlotte, eight. However, the Wales family is fully focused on protecting their children with Prince William scheduled to take a vacation from royal obligations for the Easter holiday. He is anticipated to return to work on Wednesday, April 17, the first day of the new school term. Over the last few years, members of the royal family have attended the Easter Matins ceremony in large numbers, nearly equaling the number that go on Christmas Day. The annual royal celebration features Princess Anne and her husband, as well as the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh and their children, Lady Lowie and James, Earl of Wessex, Prince Andrew and his children, Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice, often go with their husbands, although Mike and Zara Tyndall have attended with their daughters, Lena and Mia. However, precautions will be made to reduce the possibility of coming into touch with various individuals. When the king's immune system is weakened as a result of his cancer treatment, 